Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlemagne's adventure in Star Maid. And we are not on the Star Squadron server, but we will end up there. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've created kind of like a a creative a creative mode universe. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to use this creative mode universe to create our spaceship and spacecraft that we are then going to import in. So I've turned on basic creative mode. And so as you can tell, we have access to every single block here. Every single block. It's absolutely amazing. So and basically based on that, we can kind of mess around and pick the appropriate blocks that we want to use, right? So I want to create kind of like a strike craft, right? And so what does that mean, strike craft? Well, that means that I want to go and be able to fight people with my craft. And then you, because this is a strike craft, there's going to be lots of them. And I want to have a carrier which then um, has these strike craft in it and releases them as a fleet. And then you can utilize them to attack with that kind of stuff, right? So that's kind of what I'm looking for. And looks like we have the trade faction here just being busy and moving its spacecraft everywhere and all around. And yeah, very distracting, very distracting. So what kind of pieces do we need here? Well, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably put all my pieces here. And then I'm going to build and probably I'll build in silence. So what I'll do is after I'm done talking with you, I will cut to the the building footage and I'm going to speed it up a lot and I'm going to throw a bunch of music to it. Hopefully you'll enjoy that. Um, I'm I'm targeting for about maybe 10 to 20 minutes of the video, but I have no idea because it all depends on what we can accomplish with with all of this, right? So let, let's see what kind of blocks we need. I do need black. We need the black advanced armor or standard. I'm thinking the standard armor. This gives us 75 structure hit points. What is the black halts? Only 50. And is this 100? Oh, maybe mass is 0 0.25, 0 0.15, 0 0.05. So it goes up by 0 0.10 for each type. So I think we're going to go with the black standard armor. I like to build my stuff in black. We definitely gonna. We might use some other colors here. We might use the red hull or the red standard. Yeah, maybe use the red standard armor. I'm not sure if we'll use red at all, but I definitely want that color in there. We do need a rail docker to put in at some point. What else do we need? What else do we need? Just kind of looking through this. This is not brown crystal. Well, this is, but not this. This is other stuff I don't know if I need lights we might need them for the engines but I'm not sure how those will look like either I'm just gonna kind of have to build and hopefully we'll figure it out now what else do we need in here we got plex doors you need the glass doors because I want to make a cockpit on this and the one that you can kind of open and close whoa buddies oh look at these ships Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, folks. Hilarious. Let's see here. Decorative fan, girder. Just kind of looking through this stuff just to see if there's anything that we need. Maybe there's something new that we haven't spotted before. That's another cool thing. So let's see here. Um, so while I have you here, so make sure all of you folks out there go and visit each and every one of the Star Squadron guys. They're, the links are in the description below, but there's also a bunch of other guys that are playing on the Star Squadron server. So you know, there's a few other factions that are on there, and from my understanding is, is there's a bunch of groups of people that have been invited from other servers that were closing down. And yeah, so definitely what I would urge you to do is to, to type in Star Squadron, and I'm hoping all the other guys' videos will show up. But that's definitely something to check out, to look for the other people. I will do my best to link everybody in the description of the video below. And yeah, and hopefully you can find everybody through those means, right? So 
What else do we need here? We're going to need computer stuff, cannon. I want a missile tube. Uh, we're going to need more of this stuff. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to build this part of the the ship. Let's use our thruster. Can we type in stuff to search? Yeah, we can do that. Let's put a thruster. We'll need thrusters, power modules. Okay, so I'm going to start building here and we'll... Probably what I'll do is I'll cut to some music and we'll go from there. So let's put this thing right here. We go uh, X and we just go, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it, but DE for Demarine Empire, just because if I have my own faction, that's what that stands for. And this would be the a fighter craft and I'm going to call this the Apex. I don't know. I like that name. <laughs> and I think Apex means like the top of the food chain. So that's exactly what we'll pick. Shabam. Okay. And I'm going to hop right into here. We're going to be in build mode. And I'm going to probably start the other stuff right here.
bit of footage here and so basically this is the end of part one I figured I'm gonna make two parts so according to my my drawing I have this is coming relatively close and as you can tell as you've watched you can kind of see how I do my building and uh, now whether or not this is accurate or correct is a complete other thing but hopefully this will be hopefully this ship will turn out and hopefully it's small enough to be put on a carrier and hopefully it's it's large enough to handle its own i'm hoping the missile will be all right on the side here i'm going to put a couple cannons um kind of like a wing i'm i'm going to make like a little bit of a wing a little bent wing i think kind of bend it down a bit and so there's going to be a cannon in there on one on each side there so there'll be a missile computer we'll have to put in here cannon computer i want to put in a jump drive and i also want to put in a cloaker and i think we're going to need to add in some more power so i'm going to have to try and figure out how i want to do the power i did some testing with the engines and they seem to operate as i expect i might have to tweak them a bit tweak their the settings like recalibrate them but that is all right everything seems to be functioning as i expect the max speed is at a decent amount up there according to my my server settings i'm gonna to have to add in more of these kind of power capacitors and so yeah so there's a few things that we're gonna to have to do so so thank you everybody for watching hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and yeah and then hopefully we'll get the ship imported onto the star squadron server in the next couple of episodes so yeah so i will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.